Hey, it's Monday, uh, 21st of July. What's wrong with you, Ben? Parcel reveal time. This one's from Mountain Equipment Co-op. Moosehead. Keith's actually, I shouldn't say Moosehead. I don't call up. I got another package from today. It was in the it was uh it was in the mailbox, but it was there was a, a lid for a coffee mug in there. And something else. Oh pocket knife. So let's see what else. I don't know why they didn't ship it all in one box. Maybe they didn't have room. Maybe they need a bigger box. Uh -huh. You know what they say about a bigger box. It's not for everyone. Take these out, just in case they're important. And uh, let's see what we got in here. Set this off to one side, because that's a Christmas gift. I got a little uh, plunger thing for uh, making coffee. There's a hole through here. Not too, quite too sure how you get this off. Oh, it does screw off. Sticker here right over the hole. Let's see if I get all the sticker off first. Yeah. Another beautiful day here in eastern Prince Edward Island, Canada. I think I uh, get some showers tomorrow or the next day. But I'm not too sure. Get this off. This goes through here. And I believe this goes on here like this. goes the other way. I can't remember. Oh, it goes this way. So you can put in your uh, water bottle or whatever. Uh, you can boil some water, put some coffee grounds in there and boil it. Then you just put this on top, push all the grounds to the bottom, and then drink out of it. It's even got a little screen in there to screen out anything that doesn't go through here. So actually, this part here is what I got in the other part. Anyhow, we've got some Ritter Sport bars. These are German yogurt, oh, raspberry and cranberry yogurt. Times two. A la crema Catalina, Catalana. Almost looks like a, a Nohema bar. And two more coffee vanilla cream. These are excellent chocolate bars. Uh, you break them open like that and you get them out. If you're wondering, one square a day is about what they say for uh, is enough chocolate to do you some good before it starts putting on the pounds or whatnot. It's always like those. I have a Thermarest permanent home repair kit. And it's a home repair because it takes 24 hours for it to set, so you wouldn't uh, use this out in the, on the road or out in the woods. And here's an instant field repair kit. This doesn't take 24 hours, and you can make a repair uh, while you're out in the woods or camping or anything like this. And then when you get home, you put one of these on. I guess that's the uh, modus operandi. And a valve kit for a Thermarest. In case the valve goes tits up on you. Oh, look what we got here. Cookies and cream. Another red sport bar. Excellent, eh? Now, I got two ID theft protection cards. Fits three cards. Let's go in here. Oh, just the uh, scanner thing. The idea is you know, uh, I got a bank card and a credit card with a chip on it. 
And sometimes, uh, <coughs> say you're holding your wallet up here, and there's this, there's a guy, you know, some criminal can come up and kind of read your credit card through your wallet and pocket, whether it's here or in your back pocket or whatever, and crack into your uh, accounts. So this kind of stops it. I'm pretty sure it could be uh, achieved just as easily with some aluminum, aluminum foil, but these were only cheap. I think they were three dollars each. Especially if you have, uh, like the grocery store, if it's below fifty dollars, you just tap your card on it. Well, that's that's what it's supposed to uh, secure against. I got a folding grater. And a kind of a, what do you call it? Strainer. Grater and strainer. So you can grate up stuff here, and then you can use this to train, strain out whatever you're straining out. And then I got a little dinky ultralight cutting board. Just for shits and giggles, because it wasn't very expensive. So that's some good stuff. Uh, especially these Riddersport bars. I know somebody is going to like those. Whose name will remain anonymous. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know if there's prices in here or not. Mm, nope. But the whole thing came to. Uh, oh, I didn't get something. On site passport pouch black. Quantity ordered one, quantity picked zero. I wonder if it's going to come at a later date. It's kind of a pouch we wear around your neck so you can keep your passport and your safe valuables in there. So you can't be pickpocketed. Or if you, yeah, well, if it's a really good pickpocket, I guess you can take it. So that's the first one. And this little thing here, it's from China. It says handicraft on it. So it's some kind of handicraft that I ordered off eBay. There's almost nothing to it. I weighed it with my little scale. And it's 21 grams. That's how much it weighs. Or 0.8 of an ounce. Anyway, just to say, this knife is 106 grams, this box is 21 grams. <laughs> so, I ordered a lot of stuff off eBay, and this is one of them. I can't, I don't know what it is, so I'll tell you the truth. Ooh. Damn, I did a good job of that. Sharpening that, I mean. Okay. So it's sucker in there in this styrofoam that's going all over the place. Oh, I remember ordering this. <laughs> the great big god awful wolf kind of ring. I don't know if it'll focus on that or not. Anyway, I'm not too sure what it's made of, besides plastic. Now, I don't uh, wear rings, especially one this size. Where my thumb, I guess, or my big toe. But, knowing me, it was only a couple dollars. And it'd be good to hang on to, put it around somewhere. Okay. So that's the 21 grams of ring and sour foam. And I have another package. Hmm. This is my good, my good friend Donna that was just down here last month for a weekend from Ontario. Trenton. Set of mugs, woohoo! I don't fix. I don't. <laughs> A little note. Oh, a bottle opener! How did she know that I collect bottle openers? <laughs> What's this? Some kind of uh, oh. 
Chris, I hope I can meet you someday. Love, Paula. Yeah, that's very nice, eh? That's her daughter. There, I guess this is me here with a red hat. She doesn't have my beard, though. I don't have a point here. And little Ben. Right on. Paula's, I think, nine? Something like that. Oh, I see some yummies for Ben and the cats. Cat treats. There's two cats in here now. Some pepperoni, bacon flavor, beef flavor. What is this now? Try to control. Oh, throw some stuff on it. Jeff and Dave. <laughs> I guess the puppy treats. Oh, excellent. Another Canada opener. This one's got the thing in there for the twist offs, too. Excellent. Oh, doggy toys. Look at that. Nice big thing to play tug of war with. Somebody told me the other day you should never let your dog uh, win a tug of war. And look at this. Oh. Are you out there, Ben? Ben! I think he went up to the, uh, where they're building the house again. Or this university student may still be down at the stream. Oh, I foresee tugs of war and chewing on that. And another chew toy for Ben. Yay! Is that a squeaker in it? Yeah. Camouflage, too. <laughs> We're going to have fun, Ben. And an opener from Canadian Pacific Hotels. Oh, here he comes. Excellent opener. Thank you very much, Donna. Look what I got here, man. Look what I got here. Hey. Look at this one. Hey, everybody in that? Or this one? Anybody in that one? Anybody in that one? Or, uh, how about a pepperoni? Bacon or beef? We'll go with the beef flavor. There you go, little snacky poo. Say thanks, Donna. Truly, thing. Look, there's a little piece there. You want another one? Why should I give you another one? Are you a good boy? Say, yes, I'm a good boy. There you go, buddy. And later I'll throw some cat treats at the two cats over there. I don't know where Jeff is. There's Gert. There's Dave. And Jeff's not here. Uh, oh, by the way, you spell Jeff G-E-O-F. Not J-E-F-F. -F. G E O F. F. You're off. Okay, so that's about it for now. Thank you very much, Donna and Paula, and Lena or Lena. I know her name's Lena or Lena, but I can't remember which. Well, thanks very much. Ben will enjoy these toys for sure. A few more bottle openers on the go. There. So that was our parcel reveal for today. The next step now is I'm going to go out. Oh, a hummingbird. I should refill the juice on my hummingbird thing. Uh, go out and try to take the handle off the tailgate of my truck. Because it's broken. I ordered uh, one in. It's in this box here, but it's not the right one. So hopefully I'm going to take that off and get some kind of part number for it and send it in. Anyway, that's it for now. Chris, out. Oh, by the way, this is something else I got in the mail today. And it's a little mini horse blanket, I guess. RCD here. And it's even got a, a warrant officer's badge. So what a perfect retirement gift for myself. Now this thing is an RCD Royal Canadian Dragoons hat badge, the Springbuck. It's done in a gold kind of braid. And it's really nice. 
I'm kind of shocked that I got it for, uh, I, I think, uh, $29. And this was right around $26 or $27 for this thing here. So I don't know if I'm going to put some more badges up on here or what I'm going to do with this. Oh, and I don't know if I put this up, but I got this last week. And it's a... Uh, it's a hat badge from the old uh, brass helmets, or the weight helmets, that they used to wear way back when. So I got quite, this was, this was a lot more expensive. And I don't know whether I should bother shining that up, or would it be worth more when it's got that tarnish on it or something. I've been watching too much of Pawn Stars, I guess. So anyway, yeah, that's uh, what else I got today in the mail. So it was, uh, it was a good day for mail packages. Okay then, I'll edit this in somewhere. I'm sure I will, or blame Ben for making me forget it. All right, take care. Well, I decided to tackle a tailgate uh, later. Maybe even tomorrow, I don't know. I'm gonna do some sewing now, which ought to get me enraged in a short time, because I don't like sewing either. Got a couple of great patches there. This is from uh, Mike Barton at Bushcraft, or Bushcraft Barton's Enjoy the Wilderness. And I actually got three of those. Different colors. I think the green one will look good on my hat. The green or the black? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I think I'm going to put it right here on the brim. Blow the uh, RCD badge and Recce badge. I have another nice one from Boreal, Boreal Bushcraft Canada. And I'm going to mount that somewhere too. Maybe off to the side. Maybe on the side up here. Uh, I can't put it in the back here. So that's where my Serbian flag is. Maybe back here. Anyway, I'll figure it out. I have a needle, thread, uh, a temper, which I'll get going here after I stuck my uh, finger with the needle about 12 times. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, plus, I can do this while I'm sitting in the shade, having a cool uh, soda pop. So, uh, I'll check in later and uh, show you show you the bloody work that it is. <laughs> well, that actually wasn't too bad. I never stuck myself once. It's probably crooked. I don't care. There we go. Now on the next oh, one. Oh, that one went on pretty good too. I need another one over here though. So I'll read through my patches. All see right. what I can... There's that now. Bushcraft Bartons. Boreal Bushcraft Canada and bushcraftcanada.com. That's Paul's store out in BC. So I've got another few patches that I'm going to maybe put on there. That was the hardest one though. I kept on uh, I kept on putting the needle through the chin strap here. And I had to break the thread three times and start all over. <laughs> Good times. So there's the finished hat. I put on one, two, three, and the Canada flag, four new patches. I got some more patches and some space to fill here, but I had enough of sewing for the day. So I'll take it up tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. Anyway, I think I wrapped this up earlier, but now I'm really going to wrap it up and say uh, happy Monday and uh, take care. Chris, out.